Madam Speaker, my question is to the Minister for Trade and Investment. Will the Minister please update the House on the work the government is doing to strengthen our trade, business and investment ties with our largest trading partner? And Minister, what new opportunities does the Chinese economy offer Australian businesses? I call the Honourable the Minister for Trade and Investment. Thank, thank you, Madam Speaker. And I'd like to thank the member for Ryan. It's a most appropriate question from someone who set up Queensland conventions over 25 years ago and from the, a room in the, the front of her house established one of Queensland's leading management and events tourism businesses. Yeah. Madam Deputy Speaker. Madam Speaker, trade and investment are two crucial factors in, challenging, in, seeking to do, in seeking to meet the challenge of restoring sustainable growth and sustainable jobs. And China, as our biggest trading partner, is a big part of that challenge. Madam Speaker, there is great scope to widen and deepen our relationship because China's economy is changing. China is moving, China is moving from a focus on exports to shift, and shifting to a focus on domestic spending by way of expl the exploding middle class, Madam Speaker. There'll Madam sales Speaker, retail sales, re retail sales in China last year increased by 13 per cent. It was the opposite of what we saw here in Australia under the those on the other side, Madam Speaker. This will open up new opportunities for Australia across many areas, in line with our strengths. That's why today the Prime Minister announced that from the 8th to the 11th of April this year, we will take a very big business group, which I will lead in, in association with Australia Week in China, involving the Prime Minister as well as part of his broader North Asian involvement. This trip this trip will have industry-themed events across four major cities. It will involve hundreds of business people from Australia. Hundreds of business people. 350 have already 350 have already nominated, and it will be reflect our nation's strengths. Things such as agribusiness and mining, and health and tourism and food, and urban planning and architecture. All of these things, and of course, it builds on, Madam Member Speaker. It builds on our efforts to conclude a free trade agreement, which has been under negotiation since 2005 and is yet to be completed. Madam Speaker, it's on the back of an agreement with Korea, which on those on the other side sought to negotiate for years without success, and we're working hard to complete the Japanese free trade agreement. Madam Speaker, all of these activities are an important part of giving us the opportunity for trade and investment, which will help us fix the mess that those on the other side created for this country. It's a critical issue, Madam, Madam, Speaker, Madam Speaker, alongside the carbon and mining taxes. It's a very clear message for Australians.